Hey, this is Mike with Montrose. If you've just purchased one of these new Massey Compact tractors, you've got a great new product. And we're gonna to talk today about the controls on this product, so when you get it home and get ready to get it to work, you'll know what you're looking at and, and how to engage the different controls. If you look to the left side of the steering wheel, there's your lights, you have an emergency flasher, and make sure if you're going down the road, put your emergency flashers on just to let everybody know there's a slow moving vehicle. You have a left and a right turn signal, and you have lights high and low beam. To the right of the steering wheel is your throttle. Now, if you're using a loader, the faster your throttle is revved up, the faster the loader will work. And if you're using a PTO mounted implement, you want to be at PTO rated engine speed. And that's around 2400 RPM. You can see the, uh, the, the symbol right there for 540 and the, uh, the picture of the PTO tells you that's the sweet spot where the engine does its best work with a PTO. So if you're, if you're running a brush hog or something, you want to be revved up to this level right here. And the way you do that is with the throttle. To your right, there's the loader joystick. And to run the loader, to push, to push the bucket down, and I just let the bucket down, you move it forward, or the loader uh, mainframe down, you move it forward. To pull the mainframe up, you pull it back. To move the bucket, tilt and curl. You go from side to side. Now, as you saw, I had the loader up in the air. If the loader is up in the air, and even if the tractor is off and you release this, it's going to let the loader down. So bear that in mind if you've got that loader up in the air. Don't get, don't get under it when somebody's on the tractor seat. Okay, going to the right side of the operator, there's your three-point raise and lower. And if you're, if you're running a, a brush hog or something and you're running at a certain height and you want to come back to that height, there's a stop here that you can unscrew and put it at any particular height and then screw it down and then just move your lever back to that height and then when you get to the end of the field and you want to turn around, raise your, your brush hog and turn around and then come back in the field and it'll go right back down to the same place it was. Moving to the left side of the operator, right here is your three-speed hydrostatic drive. Now a couple of things on this, this has to be in neutral in order for the tractor to start and when you think about it you don't want it to be in gear when you start it uh, and so that that has to be in, in the end and back here is your fastest hydrostatic speed you've got snail right here and if you're if you're doing really heavy loader work you want to be in snail and you've got turtle here which is kind of in between the the rabbit and the snail so you've got three ranges now this hydrostatic engagement if you're having trouble shifting it a lot of times you can uh, just tap your hydrostatic pedal right here just a little bit and that'll that'll let it shift so so if you're having trouble shifting that a lot of times if you just move that hydrostat pedal just a little bit you can shift it anywhere you want to now going down to the foot controls of course we have hydrostat here and that's a rocker pedal and those are real handy if you're doing a lot of loader work you just move it forward to move forward and backward to move backward really simple here is your brake, and if you're going to get off the tractor, the brake has to be engaged, and again, the, uh, the hydrostatic uh, range lever must be in neutral. But to, to lock your brake, there's a lever right here that you move forward, and then let off on your brake, and it's locked. Now to unlock the brake, I just push it, and it comes right, right loose. There's your clutch right there, and you're going to engage your clutch to engage your PTO, and your power takeoff is right below the clutch. It's at that yellow lever. You want to push your clutch in, engage your power takeoff. Now, I'm going to slowly get off the tractor here and show you a couple of more things that are important uh, that are underneath the seat that are kind of hard to show when you're sitting on the seat. Here's your four-wheel drive engagement right here. Now, if you're really, really, really stuck, there's also differential lock right below it. And what four-wheel drive engages your front two wheels turning together, and, and that'll keep you uh, moving in most conditions. But if you're really, really stuck, if you'll engage this, this locks the back wheels together. It's called differential lock. Now, when you, when you lock all four wheels together, front wheel and diff lock, uh, steering is, is not going to be easy or possible, probably but it'll get you out of a real mess if you're really, really, really stuck. The other thing I want to show you, below the seat is this adjustment right here. And a lot of people think this adjusts the seat, and it doesn't. 
it's your th three point raise and lower. So if you're if somebody's played with that or, or you've been trying to adjust it to adjust your seat and you turn it all the way in, your three point is locked in the up position. It won't move up or down. And that adjusts how fast the three point goes up or down. It goes the fastest if it's all the way out and that's where I'd probably recommend that you keep it. But those are the controls on the tractor. Really simple tractors to operate and really nice design on where all the controls are located.